Oceanography is a really collaborative science. Most of us have expertise in one particular area, but it's only by combining people with different interests, different techniques, different backgrounds that we can actually begin to get a handle on what's happening uh, to the ocean ecosystem as a whole. So this trip includes people that are geochemists, there are people that are physicists, a whole bunch of chemists and a whole bunch of biologists. Some of us specialize on what's happening in the water column, that's my group. Others specialize on what's happening down on the seafloor. And this really gives us an opportunity not just to sample and experiment with and understand the entire ocean ecosystem, but to send people down there to see what's happening, to collect samples in a very focused and controlled way. I'm looking forward to see some new mud volcanoes and brine seeps um, that I haven't seen before. These things are unique. Every one of them is a special animal. These are spots where um, hydrocarbon, gases, methane, sulfide, hydrogen, and often salty fluids, high salinity, really tough brines are seeping from the seafloor and nourish highly specialized microbial communities, invertebrates, and entire ecosystem. And uh, these cold hydrocarbon seeps occur in limitless variety in the northern Gulf of Mexico. It is really maybe the global hotspot for this type of environment. There is no place like the northern Gulf to see hydrocarbon seeps and their unique biology. We're going to be doing a lot of work and a lot of, of experiments where we add different substrates and do different things to tweak the communities to try to increase rates of metabolism of these layers. And we'll do a lot of experiments looking at just you know, basic fundamental microbial processes in the water column and sediments to get baseline information at, at unimpacted sites and at natural seep sites. So we can compare the Macondo impacted sites to natural seep sites to control sites where there's no hydrocarbon input. Well, this is a really tremendous opportunity to look at a whole host of exotic environments here in the northern Gulf of Mexico. We'll be looking at brine seeps, we'll be looking at uh, bottom environments, and we're also going to be studying the water column at a number of sites we've been to in the past and some sites we've never studied before. Our real goal is to continue working on how oil and gas affect organisms and the rest of the ecosystem after they're released from the bottom and come up through the water column. Unlike previous cruises, we have access to the Alvin, which is our uh, deep submergence vessel. It lets us send two scientists and a pilot down to the seafloor, use the manipulators to carry out sampling and other exercises, collect samples, bring them back up. It's an opportunity for scientists to get down there onto the seafloor, into this, this exotic environment, and actually see what's going on and what's happened as we collect our samples. So our mission is to put that out, and then we've built an injection chamber so that we can uh, inoculate bacterial mass that are associated with seepage. We can squirt dye and other substrate into these chambers and expose the bacteria, and then we can pull the chamber away and see how the, the bacteria respond to these experimental conditions. Um, when you have an accidental release, there's so much hydrocarbon that it's damaging to many organisms. So we want to know you know, what is the threshold? You know, how is the, the, the Gulf ecosystem, particularly in the deep ocean, conditioned to respond to low levels of hydrocarbons? And how is that system altered when you have a huge input as we had with Deepwater Horizon? And it's really critical for programs like EcoGig and the other Montgomery-funded consortia and investigators to, to do these long-term monitoring programs and studies so that we can evaluate and, and see both the long-term impacts and the recovery of, of different components of the ecosystem. And the only way that happens is if you do repeated studies at the same sites over long periods of time.